Hey guys, so I'll be honest, I, I went months and months without sharing anything and there was things that when I would be in prayer, repenting, and I'll tell you, when I repent lately, it's not just a quick repent. I mean, there are things that I have opened up my heart to God that he has completely cleansed me of. And when those, when that process is happening, um, there were things that I, I was, I felt in the spirit that I heard from the, from the Lord and I didn't share them. And I, I felt guilty because, you know, it is written that, you know, those that know the sword is coming and I, sh and the Lord God, you know, has shared the sword is, co is coming with, with someone and they do not tell his people they're going to share in that same, <laughs> that same uh, wrath is the ones who don't know. Um, and so I'm just going to go, I'm going to completely remove myself out of the way and let the Lord guide my, what I post and what I say. I don't, I keep it clean. I don't add or take away anything. I, my, I move myself completely out of the way. And if I, if I haven't, then I don't put it, I don't say anything. Um, so I had a kind of a, I would call it a picture frame glimpse. You know, some may say it was a vision, but it was more of a, uh, is still photos moving, uh, in my, uh, when I was praying and I, I had just finished repenting and coming before the Lord, repenting for things that I wanted to, to get out and clear and get, and get cleansed of. And, he, and I saw something, all right? And the, it was so powerful, but I, I want to share this. There was a moment in an hour, I don't know what day or when it's going to happen or if it's going to be in the spirit, but the whole world, I mean, the most of the world came to a complete stop. And people were getting out of their cars on the freeway. People were in grocery stores, gas stations, kids were in school, pilots were in their plane, didn't take off. They were, they didn't because the spirit hit them and all these people got on their knees and had their hands raised in the shape of a Y to God. And they were repenting. They were praising God. And I felt like even once that had a, hearts had been hardened, started turning back to God. And this happened and people on Wall Street were doing it. People in doctor's offices and this happened in what I saw. It was it was a huge outpouring of God's spirit on all flesh. And I keep going back to that that passage. You know, the time will come and it was so powerful. I pray it, I, I pray it happens. I, I, if it was, it felt physical, it felt real. You know, I, uh, sports arenas, p kids in like sports practice, they just, something made them stop. And they just, they just, they, they were so stricken, like getting hit by straight in the heart by the Holy Spirit. Some of the, like their heads would just go like, hang, some of them were in shame. They hung their head and they just felt, they felt like they totally submitted. And they realized in their heart that they, have, they are sinners. They can't do this anymore. This world is wicked. That they have been playing by man's law. And they, need, and they need to start playing by God's law. And applying it in their daily lives. I mean, there were people that, you know, were wicked. I mean, like gang members. Like, people, I don't call them wicked. They're human like me. I am a sinner. I am not righteous. I am not perfect or holy. But people that hearts, their hearts were hardened. And they were crushed under the weight of the Holy Spirit. And they ended up on their knees. Some of them just, like, they were on their knees and they just put their head face on the ground. And they were just, arms reached out. And, and the Spirit was just float, boom, boom. And the media, I'm sure the media will lie. YouTube will probably get shut down. And maybe it happened after all those things happened. 
Maybe it may have happened after the rapture, honestly. I think, golly, that just hit me, man. That may have happened after the rapture because people realize we're being lied to. Aliens did not abduct these people. They are gone. And the people that are gone were people that kept telling me, get right with God. And let me explain. There's two factions, and we and in the comments, if anyone disagrees, please, let's have a healthy discussion. You know, that's what we're here for. But you have the once saved, always saved, you know. Then you have the people that know or that have come to the truth, and, and, and this is something I've learned, it was not easy, that being sealed in Christ and having God's law written on your heart, striving for righteousness, is the only way into the kingdom of heaven. That's, that's the only way. And I will back that up. Not only was can I go through the entire... God never changes. The God of, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the same God who, who rules the heavens and, and who my heart is for. My, my heart and my spirit yearns for and sings to. And yours does too. You've just been... There's been, I felt like the evil one has come into the churches and completely oppressed the churches. And why do you think that Satan allows the once saved, always saved crowd to just go and say whatever they want? They don't get censored. They don't get persecuted because Satan knows it, that, you know, that's only a part of the puzzle. That's only part of it. And those people, because they don't have God's law written on their heart, they're easy to deceive. They're easy to, to trick into sinning. You know, oh, don't worry about looking at that that girl in her bikini on the beach and, and then having impure thoughts. No big deal. That's Satan lying to you. You know, oh, don't worry. You're just, you know, um, you know, you're you're taking more than you need. You know, or you're you're telling white lies. All that is a deception of of the evil one. In these churches, I felt like the there was a lot of pastors left behind. My gosh. A lot of people in the congregations and people have prophesied this before where the pastors were left and the people looked at them like, you lied to us. And then we're violent against them. And I'm just, I'm just speaking truth here. But let me ask you, if you had a house party, that help, I mean, the revival, I, I have to admit, I pray that happens. And I pray that it happens before the rapture so people would just snap out of it. But I will apply God's law being on your heart to this. If you had a house party, all right, and you invited a bunch of guests over in your home and you were going to feed them for the rest of their lives, no pain, you were going to give them the power of something that they had never witnessed and you were going to take care of them for eternity and you told them, take off your shoes, no cursing, um, no taking the Lord's name in vain. You can't bring any idols into my house like a necklace of uh, whatever, you know, anything that is not of God. Uh, don't steal any of my possessions. And if you have stealing, you need to repent right now and never do it again. Um, you need to have complete love in my home for everyone. No violence in my home. Don't look at my wife or any of my anyone in my home with lust, with a lustful heart. Um, and then they tell you no, or they, they tell you they're, they don't follow just one of those rules. Think about this. Are you going to let them into your home? Probably not. I know I wouldn't, and I'm not a, I'm not a righteous man. I am striving for righteousness every day. I'm correcting myself. I'm beating myself up in the spirit. So that when I go before the judgment seat, I don't have to hear that those words. You know, I never knew you. That That is it. You don't want to hear that. But you're not going to let that person in your home. And we're not righteous. There is no not one good person on earth. Yet the Father in heaven, he is good. Even the Lord Yeshua said that. Because he had reverence for the Father in heaven. You cannot compare yourself to them. If Jesus said he is good, then what are you? You're wicked. We are wicked. We are dust. We are we are nothing. And if we don't humble ourselves before the law, before God, that he has commanded us, he's going to crush us. 
And there, you know, God is so much higher in authority and that we can't understand. He is like a ever constant river of moving love that the intensity is just the intensity if he brought it to earth right now it would kill everyone because they're not ready if their hearts hardened you know we're adam was made of clay i'm going to mention this but it's very important that i'm going to go and i wanted to read some scripture but i just don't never have time because i need to share things that, I, that i've been commanded to share adam was made of clay okay once clay dries and is hard, can you remold it? Or do you does do you have to smash it, throw it in water, and hope hopefully it softens and then remold it again? But if you have soft clay, you can mold it into what you want. That is your heart. If you have a hardened heart towards God, you know, hardened heart towards, you know, his mighty way, his holy way then God cannot work with that. But if you soften your heart and humble yourself, he can. And he will send the Holy Spirit to you and work in ways that I cannot explain. That revival, though, was powerful that I saw. I pray it happens before, you know, anything really bad happens. I think that it's going to happen in God's time. Let's put it that way. But the sooner you come to the Lord with, with everything you have and lay it down, the sooner he can start ch chastening you and, and sifting you to bring you closer to him. So God bless, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.